Hi librarians, I want to make a quick video about <clears throat> starting off making a new info guide using the template I created for us. So just friendly reminder, when you are at the library's website, you can click on this bottom link, librarian login, and that's going to take you to that lib apps um, dashboard. From here, you can click on uh, either DSC library or come up here to the um, lib apps menu bar and click on libguides. This takes you to the libguides dashboard. So we're going to create a guide. And first we're going to assign this to the info guides group because that's what the name of our group is for all of our guides that we have as opposed to index which is our home page. Um, and subpages, which again is part of our um, library website. So we're going to go to Info Guides um, and we're going to select the system default side nav layout. And then we're going to copy contents. It defaults to local guides and we're going to select this Info Guide template. There's an asterisk before it, so it's, it's going to be the first one in your list. Um, so I'm going to rename this guide um, Physical Therapy. It's a guide I've been meaning to create. And then under Guide Type, I'm going to choose um, Subject since it's a subject specific guide. Uh, we have this defaulted to Community. If you wanted to just create an internal guide, that would just be for the DSC librarians. But for the most part, we like to share um, any guide we've created with the rest of the Spring Share community. So we're going to create this guide. And then you can see um, this template has things already laid out for you. So anything that needs to be changed, I tried to really indicate that. For example, we're going to click on this little edit this box and delete this change name here to oops, physical therapy info guide. Um, and then we'll do the same in the HTML. See change name here, change name here. That's where we would change it to physical therapy. Um, and a lot of this HTML is just to give you some direction as to the kinds of things that you would add. So for librarian top pick, here is where you would choose things like uh, uh, your top database for, for physical therapy, um, maybe a couple of top books for th physical therapy. And this might be something that you add after you've gone through and added the other resources. Um, related info guides, again, it tells you select guide list to add uh, related info guides for this um, area. Some of the boxes you can't actually edit because it's a reused widget. So for example, this search box is not something that you can edit, but if you wanted to delete it based on the guide that you're creating, you could just click to the X here and remove the mapped guide. You don't have to worry about that editing the widget. It won't. It'll just remove it from the info guide that you're working on. Same with, um, for example, the writing and citing page. This is a mapped page, so you can't actually edit it, but if you wanted to remove it, you could come here to removed mapped page. Um, but for the most part, for our subject guides, we keep this page on all of them. Um, so you would just go through this. Um, any areas that are highlighted are to be updated. Um, Again, a lot of the HTML at the beginning is just sort of descriptive, and once you've made your edits, you can just delete it when you're finished. Um, when you're ready to publish the guide, you would just change the status to published, um, and then it'll be good to go. And I do recommend creating a friendly URL. So for example, we can call this um, PT for physical therapy and hit save. And then once I publish this, that will create a friendly link that will be very easy to share with our um, PT uh, students and faculty. 
Uh, let me know if you have any questions about this. Thanks.